Howdy. Let's say, for instance, I wanted to use this end mill to cut something on here, and I wanted to zero this on right this corner right here. So X, Y, and Z right on this corner. To date, I've had to. This has been very useful. This allows me to drive it around, go up and down, which means I don't have to walk back and forth to the computer this way over there makes it much faster and I can get really good approximations by going down and eyeballing it this way go ahead and set zero on X eyeball it this way set zero on Y and then hopefully I don't crash my end mill but I go down and I usually shine a light through here just to make sure that see this reflection down there I want to make the shadow of this touch uh, basically the reflection or the the shadow of this touch this and then that will be zero and that is optical and it's okay and if I have an end mill with a very sharp very tiny tip it's kind of hard to see exactly where it is so it's close but it's kind of not the best thing okay so I have a solution to this I actually went online and um, found some stuff by a guy named Bill Griggs. He makes this plate, comes with a little banana plug, and <clears throat> an alligator clip. This is designed to be clipping on your end mill. I use some like 1 32nd inch end mills, so I didn't want to break them. So I'm not going to use this at all. <clears throat> I do like this though. It comes The uh, banana plug goes in here. And this is designed to go on the edge of your material. This is about an eighth deep. So if your material is thinner than this, this will help less, at least in the zero sense. Um, but you place it kind of uh, like if this is my material, I'll place it like this. And then right in the middle of the circle is zero. And if I can touch this and know the thickness of this, which in my case is 0 0.621 inches, then I can set Z to be negative 621 from this. So. <clears throat> I made this cable for my local electronic supply using the banana plug supplied and some tiny neodymium magnets I have. Soldered a little um, wire on here, which, by the by, it gets rid of um, the magnetism. So I super glued another magnet onto this other magnet that was soldered, and this is now a sticky solution. So here's how it works. You plug this in here, excuse me, one-handed. You put this on your material, basically just square it up, line it here so that there's no gap. Take this magnet and touch it to your spindle. Okay, this end is plugged into this guy. This guy. I made. I actually just purchased this. It was a matches this. It's a mono uh, receptacle for well this guy. This was like three bucks. This was a buck sixty nine. And I know I paid too much, but I wanted it that day. Nice little engraving. I did that with this CNC router. I'm pretty happy with this. It's just aluminum, eighth inch thick. Um. So the idea is when. The end mill touches this the circuit is broken or the circuit is made and i can react to that in code now i'm not using mach 3 the bill that sells this designs it so that you can use mach 3 routine to centering or you can devise your own way i went down the path of devising my own way which meant well relearning c from a long long time ago and learning all the um methods that we have to talk to the K-flop and the, K the board that I run this router with um, and my PC. So let me cut to the chase because this has been a little while. I basically can center this. I've written the code so I can center this anywhere I want on here. And it's going to first zero the Z right on here. It's going to find this edge, this edge, this edge between these two edges I can figure out how wide 
the the bit is and the end mill is and between th then it will go down here and between these two i'll figure out the depth and it should be about the same value but i just do it both ways to ensure in case i had a long or a wide end mill then that whole purpose is to find the approximate center of this hole it will then probe in all directions or west, east, north, south, that's how I think of it, um, and it will find exactly the zero there. So let's see it work. This is the K-Motion CNC free software comes with it. I program this little button right here. As it goes, let's watch it. Now I have it probing pretty slow because I don't want to put divots in the plate and honestly I'm not sure how fast it can stop. Almost all these uh, commands are done with C, which is pretty good. I found it useful to not use the DRO uh, for coordinates, but using the native um, units. And now we're actually going to get the real center of this circle. And then I move up three inches just to be safe and so I can remove everything. So how confident am I that this will work? Let me move this to a random location and then I will G0 it. Zero, I'll zoom it basically to this point right on this steel. So hopefully it worked out okay or else I'll have problems with this end mill. So here's a command G0, X0, Y0, Z0. super quick so it should be about exactly halfway on here which it looks like it is it should be about halfway on this line which it is and it should be just touching which if it would focus please contrast focus poor lighting Ah, anyway, you get the point. Zero, 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 and all I had to do was push one button. I had to make some stuff and write some code, mind you, but now it's done. I get free zeros from here on out. Yay!